Hi, this is James from iGlobe, and I am going to show you how to use iPlanner Pro, an Outlook add-in for Microsoft and Teams tasks by Planner. Before doing this, make sure that the app is deployed and secured on your Microsoft 365 by a global Microsoft 365 administrator. A quick note on security and compliance. iPlanner Pro is a Microsoft certified app and is therefore safe to deploy on your Microsoft 365. Feel free to contact us if you want to learn more about the Microsoft Certified App Program. iPlanner Pro runs on all devices connected to a Microsoft 365 account. In this user guide, we will use the browser version of your Outlook Mail, but everything works the same on all other platforms, as well as on your desktop client. Are you ready? Let's get started. In this video, we will find out how you can create a task from Outlook. We made it easy for you. Open iPlanner Pro from your ribbon and quickly create a task by clicking on the appropriate section. Even when you are managing your tasks from the list, you have easy access to create a new task by clicking on the plus icon. Both ways lead to the same window, where you will have to select a plan and choose a bucket first. Your email subject will automatically become the task title, but you can easily change it to your preference. Once you add a description and flag a category, you can make them visible on the general list by marking Show on Card. You can also add a checklist as well as links to your task. You can attach files contained in the email or the whole email itself. A copy of these files is saved directly on the task. It is a smart idea to select a start and due date as well as a progress status. Finally, you can choose which members will be involved in this task. In our case, it is Jane and James. Once you save the task, you are good to go. If you click on the green Save icon, your task will be saved in your planner. When you click on Save and Add to Calendars, the task will be saved on both your planner and calendar. We recommend using this second option for tasks you assign to yourself only. It is also possible to create recurrent tasks. You just have to set a due date and click on the green icon, choose the number of weeks and days involved in the task. iPlanner Pro will create separate tasks according to the settings you selected. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out the other parts of the user guide. If you need further help, don't hesitate to contact us. Find more useful links in the description below, and I will see you in other iGlobe videos. Bye!